got some new member of the family and Golgo is like, what? Got the litter sand, bathing, dusting sand, goodies, chew sticks, and the food. Somebody already punctured the bag. Okay, rats, here I go. Got some tributes to the party. Didn't stay too long at this party because the main objective is to pick them up and getting the heck out of here. So here we go. They're eating frozen food from now on. Which is good. Bye. I really wonder what they're thinking. is only going to be around just for a few days because their luxurious home is coming in just under a week. This is their toilet with their litter pebbles that they can use. Um, durables, hamsters, they know to use this for um, litter boxes and the powder one. I've yet to get that one is for uh, washing their bodies. Don't have any uh, wood shavings yet so just going to use something from the paper shredder for now. in there. Come on, it's bigger than this place. In, 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 in. Wait. Okay, don't be a chicken. Man. Can I give you a little nudge? Come on, do you want me to nudge you in there? Go join your friend. Sorry. That was more of a big nudge. But don't worry, it's all pat it's all padded in there, so it's fine. Hope they know how to use the bathroom. Do you want some water? 
please join our Patreon. It means a lot to small creators like us, and it can keep our channel alive. Thanks, meow. Apprehensive still. Yeah. Oh boy. Look at the tip of that. This one seems to be the shyer one, but I think you'll be okay. Okay, him or her to the bed. Okay, so I taped these, taped the lid, and same on the other side to prevent escape. See, the guy on the left is already eating, but the one on the right is still a little bit shy. That's okay. Okay. I think Rat Rat has an eye infection. That's your bathroom. I hope you guys will use it. <laughs> Let's just switch for thinking. So Carlos doesn't care. Professor Cortex. Good night, kiddos. All right, so that's it for tonight. You're tucked into place. The thing is taped shut. The cats can't pry it out. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Supposedly, this is for gerbils to bathe themselves, see if they'll use it. So put them in the airplane thingy. Give us a chin rub. Link in description. Meow. Hey, 
this enclosure is huge but the thing is there's going to be a lot of revamping so they're only going to be able to enjoy the ground floor for now but that's okay it's a really nice cage this is the first time she used the wheel and she knows what it is <gasps> I can see that they're getting very, very curious, so that's a good sign, right? You know, the funny thing is, this is the first time I have um, mice as pets. I mean, I had hamsters, dwarf hamsters, gerbils, but never had a lab rat, lab mice, lab mouse as a pet. So this is the first time for me. So now they're in a room uh, by themselves so that they're not going to get anxiety from the sight of my cats and my cats wouldn't feel like it's making them nervous because they feel the need to hunt them. I think this is the best place for them because this is such a huge enclosure. It's supposed to be made for chinchillas. And as I said, I was gonna give them the best life possible. So go big or go home. Um, I'm gonna revamp this so it's gonna become like a villa, villa for them. That said, um, I have a feeling the white one is pregnant, so I have to accommodate for the fact that they might have babies that's coming on the way. Looking good. Just gotta get some things to connect these steps because they're kind of far apart right now, but otherwise, love your new home. So I'll have to see how to accommodate for that and how to control the population in the future. But in all in all, I'm just glad they're here with me now. And uh, yeah, I think they're living life. Um, very interesting animals. They're so smart and it's such a humbling experience because, you know, especially in Hong Kong, these are seen as pests, uh, although they were raised in captivity, but they're still seen as pests because the only time when people see them, they're on the street as, you know, rodents that are dirty and carry disease but that's not the case so lots of things to learn from them and um yeah